Hello, you're watching Telecom TV. We are at Mobile World Congress 2023 in Barcelona. I'm now happy to be joined by Farid Firuzbacht, who is the president of Outdoor Wireless Networks at Comsco. Hi, Farid. Thank you for joining us today. Great to be here. Thank you very much. So, as the president of Outdoor Wireless Networks at Comsco, what do you see as the main challenges for your customers in 2023? And what are the key trends in the telco industry this year? The 5G technology, obviously, is the most exciting thing right now. Everybody is uh, trying to deploy 5G globally. And um, some of the challenges people are right now facing is uh, things like site simplification. There are several uh, G cycles that have happened in the past. So 5G is going to be adding to that. And so the number of equipment that is going to be deployed, the power associated with the equipment that needs to be provided to the sites, as well as looking at how to monetize 5G is something that's in the back of many of our customers' minds in terms of, you know, with the equipment, with the customer base and things like that. How do they turn their investment into revenue and profitability? Many telcos, especially in Tier 1, are now committing to net-zero carbon goals across their own operations and across the wider value chain. How can companies like Comscope help their customers achieve these targets? Great question. We are not uh, an exception to the rule. Like our customers, we are committed to net-zero. I'm personally committed myself. I'm, as an individual, I want to make sure that uh, we take care of our planet. and. Um, we are doing several things in order for us to be able to address that. Um, obviously, there's a long road ahead. Everybody is pushing in order for them to be able to optimize. But we have taken steps such as improving our packaging in order for us to be able to maximize our container shipping, which is going to help us with uh, re reduction in terms of uh, fuel consumption by ships or airplanes and things like that. Another area is um, we are looking at recyclable material. Um, we are trying to move away from single-use material, move to things that uh, are more environmentally friendly. Some of the processes we are using within the factory is uh, requiring less and less greenhouse gas emission, as well as we are cutting back on use of components, trying to go more towards a reduced number of components in our production in order for us to be able to, again, achieve that target in the, in the near future. While the rollout of 5G is still at the fore for many operators, in the current market, we're also seeing a need for operators to maximize their existing infrastructure. How can they do this? 5G is the fifth generation cellular that's been deployed. And obviously, every time there is a new technology, there is a lot of equipment that gets deployed in the field. And what we are trying to do is work with our customer, understand what the tower constraints are in terms of employing, employ, deploying new equipment. And by understanding what their needs are on, in terms of go-forward basis, we can provide technologies that helps them achieve that. For example, we just introduced um, our new BSA platform, antenna platform called Mosaic. Mosaic plat platform enables our customers to take their 5G radios and be able to mount them behind our existing antenna, therefore save space, which is going to help them with tower loading, wind loading, and so on. We also have energy solutions. Uh, today's environment with high cost of energy and gas prices, there is a need for people to be able to reduce their energy consumption. It also helps with the environment, obviously. And our smart uh, power monitoring system enables them to be able to have uh, systems that are const continuously monitoring in a smart way for, for, for the system to be able to deliver the optimum power to, the, to their equipment as opposed to existing solutions that exist. And finally, what is your view on the Open RAN ecosystem in 2023? Open RAN um, is a great way to create innovation in the, in the market. Obviously, there are challenges associated with Open RAN. It's not as simple as taking uh, 
bunch of uh, equipment and put them together and have them work seamlessly. So integration is a big item. And uh, we have made a intentional decision not to get into the radio business because our view is that we've got many customers who provide the radio. We want to be their RF partner, work with them, and come up with something at system level that enables them to have a efficient system. And um, in order for us to do that, we need to pick our key partners, which we have, and work with all of them to understand what their need is in order for them to be able to have the most optimized, optimum product for their specific need. Farid, thank you for insights you shared with us today. It's a pleasure, thank you very much.